From 1955 to 1959, United States Rear Admiral Grace Hopper develops what would become Commons Business-Oriented Language, or COBOL. Other early languages included BASIC and PASCAL, named after famed mathematician Blaise Pascal. Pascal proved to be a good teaching tool, but lost favor when C was developed between 1969 and 1973. C was fast and powerful and is still in use today. It's the foundation on which popular operating systems such as Windows, Unix, and Mac OS are built. Programming language innovation continues to this day. In 2014, Swift was developed as a general-purpose, compiled programming language for iOS and other Apple platforms. An alternative to Objective-C, Swift offers a simpler syntax. Syntax refers to the rules governing the sequence and placement of symbols and words to communicate with the computer. Swift's syntax now makes it easier for any programmer to understand this programming language. Today, some 700 programming languages are commonly used across a variety of applications. Each of these programming languages tends to fall into one of three building blocks. System programming languages are designed to build and maintain an operating system. They offer direct access to the system's components, such as the hard drive or CD-ROM DVD device. C, C++, and Assembler are the most common examples of system programming languages. Architectural programming languages are designed to build frameworks around applications such as Microsoft's .NET. Frameworks contain common processes and tasks that can make it easier for programmers to develop apps. This makes writing software applications more efficient and less time-consuming. Java is an architectural programming language in common use. The third building block is application programming languages. These are used to build the applications used by businesses and consumers today. Languages commonly used are PHP, Ruby, Perl, and Python.